Hello everyone, back to you to today's first video. We're looking at the ECMWF 30 day model for today's first video, not just for the UK, but for the rest of Europe as well. So we're going to look at the temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next four weeks, of course, taking us well into February. And uh, we'll see what those temperature and precipitation anomalies are showing. We can't show you 500 millibar heights or mean sea level pressure anomalies with this, unfortunately. Uh, but you can get a rough idea sometimes uh, what broad pattern is from the temperature and precipitation anomaly. So that's what we're doing for today's first video. Uh, later on this afternoon, we'll have a week to 10 day video update, which should be quite an interesting uh, watch. That have all the regular features, of course. We're at the Hungarian Met Office for this one. So a big thank you to them for supplying us uh, with the charts. And uh, let's get on with it. So you're going to start off with the week one temperature anomaly for uh, for Europe. It's week four for the year. It takes us from the 20th to the 26th of January. So it continues uh, to be an exceptionally warm scene. Uh, and I say warm due to the um, deviation to average. It continues to be a very warm scene across much of northern Europe. We've got these bright red colours here stretching from Scandinavia through the Baltic into the northeast of Europe and then back into the west of Russia. Temperature anomalies of 6 to 10 degrees above average there. So... Um, the very exceptionally, probably record-breakingly mild winter of 2019-2020 goes on for much of northern and northeast Europe in the week ahead from the 20th, 26th of January. Elsewhere, most other parts of Europe are mild on average, including the UK and Ireland. The anomaly is a little bit more sensible, though. So most parts of the UK are like 1 to 3 degrees above average. Scotland actually goes up. To three to six degrees above average. Uh, we've got France here in the south of France. Um, it's uh, sort of three to six degrees above average. Northern parts of France actually a little bit cooler. Germany is uh, and the low country is sort of one to three degrees. So out in west of Europe, it's not quite as exceptionally mild as it is in the far north and northeast of Europe. Go down into Mediterranean, you've got a bit of a freeway split. So uh, we've got Spain and Portugal there looking a bit cooler than average. The central bar of the Med from the Balearics to Italy uh, coming out uh, a bit warmer than average. And this southeastern corner around Greece and Turkey goes a little bit colder than average uh, again. Up into the Balkans, though, towards the Black Sea, it's a little bit mild than average there. Maybe you're running to those really mild temperatures. Uh, a little bit further northwards. Precipitation-wise, we're looking like this in uh, the week ahead from the 20th to 26th of January. So um, very unsettled across Norway in particular. Substantially above average precipitation there. Obviously, that's going to be snow primarily over mountainous areas and high ground. Um, Norway, very mountainous country, of course. So uh, great news for the uh, Norwegian ski resorts. Um, we come further south. Many other parts of uh, Central Europe, actually, from the UK and Ireland in the west to um, west of Russia, generally looking dry and average. So obviously, a large area of high pressure continues to dominate uh, the weather, and uh, that's what's bringing the mild of an average temperature, but it keeps things mainly dry. To the southeast corner of the Med, it's very dry down there from Italy over towards uh, Greece, looking really dry. But in this western part of the Mediterranean, much wetter from Corsica and Sardinia over towards the um, Balearic Islands of Mallorca, Minorca and Ibiza, and then into eastern parts of Spain. It uh, looks exceptionally wet in those areas. So if anybody's planning to go to like the Costas or the Balearic Islands uh, for for a, for a uh, winter break, if we can, take your waterproofs. There's going to be some big thunderstorms around there, no doubt. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, looking like a very wet scene indeed in the week ahead. Uh, then go through to uh, the next week, which is going to be week five, if we can. There we go. Uh, week five for the year is going to be uh, week two for our forecast period. This one takes us from the 27th of January to the 2nd of February. Off the scale, mild across uh, western parts of Russia in those deep red colours, which we don't often see show up on these charts. So that's over 10 degrees above average. That is exceptionally mild. 
across those um, inland parts of Western Russia. And then we've got 6 to 10 degrees above average extending from the rest of uh, west of Russia in towards eastern parts of Europe, so in towards uh, Poland and Ukraine. Just exceptionally, exceptionally mild winter across many eastern and northern parts of Europe. Uh, then temperature elements are around 3 to 6 degrees above average through eastern parts of Scandinavia and the Baltic sort of area down in towards central Europe, including Germany, Low Countries, France and to Italy. And then we have a band of temperatures of around 1 to 3 degrees above average. And that includes, like, the UK and down to Spain and Portugal, or for England and Wales, anyway, down to Spain and Portugal. Scotland and Ireland actually closer to average. In fact, it does seem to be ever so, ever so slightly below average for western parts of Scotland. And up to Iceland, pretty cold winter up there, I think, a lot of the time. And a uh, cold and average temperature only is being forecast for them through the end of January and into the first days of uh, February. And as far as Mediterranean is concerned, so most parts of the Med having a significantly milder than average week, especially so in this eastern part of the Med, western parts of the Med, Spain, Portugal. It's a bit above average, but it's not as much as it is further eastwards. Looks much more unsettled as well, doesn't it, this week? This is the 27th of January to the 2nd of February again, and it does look significantly wetter than average now across many northern, central and western parts of Europe. So it looks like the Atlantic is coming back big time here uh, with the jet stream, and of course that's driving the mild air from off the Atlantic Ocean, but it's bringing bands of rain with it too. So quite a big change precipitation-wise from week one to week two. Much, much wetter than average for northern, western, and even some central parts of Europe. But down in the Med, it looks rather dry, so it looks like the high pressure sinking south and setting up through the Med. So through, from Spain and Portugal in the west to Greece in the east, and really all points in between. It does look quite substantially drier than average through the Mediterranean. So after that wet week for parts of Spain and the central part of the Mediterranean in the coming week, week two actually looks a lot better, a lot drier. And with quite warm temperatures, no doubt it will be relatively spring-like down there in the Med. A very nice week coming up there. Week three, week six for the year, week three for our forecast period is the third to the 9th of February. Uh, again, it looks mild and average through most parts of Europe. We lose those very intense anomalies. That could could just be because we're up to week three, so the signal weakens a little bit. We see widely from sort of eastern parts of France, Belgium, Holland and Germany and Denmark eastwards that we have anomalies of three to six degrees above average. And when we get a little bit closer to the time frame, we may see those six to ten and above ten Celsius anomalies here in the eastern part of Europe. We have to wait and see about that. But certainly it's a very mild week again anyway for much of northern, from all parts of Europe really, uh, from the 3rd to the 9th of February. Even these more western areas, where it was a little bit cooler in week two, actually uh, looking milder again in week three, with anomalies of around um, one to three degrees above average quite widely. So very mild week coming up there for the first full week of February. Precipitation-wise, similar to what we saw in week two. Signals are weakening a little bit, I say. We're going into week three now. Uh, but nevertheless, many northern, central, western parts of Europe looking rather wetter than average. Down in the Med still looks pretty much drier than average. So the broad pattern we have from week two looks like it continues into week three, really, with a lot of high pressure, no doubt, around here. And then plenty of low pressure uh, up here. And this dries in those west uh, southwesterly winds. And then finally we go through to week 7 for uh, 2020. It's week 4 for our forecast period. It's going to take us from the 10th through to the 16th of February. So very gradually it looks like we're losing the intensely um, mild uh, or warm temperature anomalies. They are beginning to return uh, a little bit something more sensible. Although still in this eastern part of Europe we're around 3 to 6 degrees above average quite widely from the Black Sea up towards the Baltic Sea. Um, but it's not quite as intensely mild uh, there as we go through to week four. Most other places looking uh, mild and average by around one to three degrees above average, really from the UK and um, Spain and Portugal in the West, through Scandinavia, through Germany, down to Italy, those sort of areas are mild and average. Just in this extreme northwestern corner, that's Scotland and Ireland, really, does it look closer 
to average or possibly we have no ceiling. But another very, very mild week there, taking us up to the middle of February. And finally, precipitation for week four, uh, which is again 10th to the 16th of February. Gradually over time, we're losing the signal. It seems like the southeastern corner of Europe is a little bit drier than average down in the southeastern part of Maine in particular. Uh, Northern Europe still hints of being a bit wet and average, especially for Norway and northern parts of Scandinavia. Otherwise, there's lots of white going on there, which of course is no signal. Uh, model hasn't got a signal for this particular period up to week four for precipitation. So this extraordinarily mild winter goes on. I think that's the main takeaway from the 30-day look out from the ECM uh, model uh, again today. So it's been an ongoing pattern throughout this winter of being exceptionally mild, probably record-breaking the mild across many northern, northeastern and eastern parts of Europe. That continues in the weekend, but in the month, I should say, all parts of Europe looking very, very mild indeed, particularly in the next two weeks. Possibly we see the temperature just reverting a little bit closer to average as we get through to weeks three and four. But um, that could just be because it, it is weeks three and four. But the model does have quite such an intense signal. And I think overall we can say that mild weather uh, and Atlantic winds continue to rule the roost, probably at least to the early part of February, maybe even into the middle of February. Have to wait and see about that. Remember, it's just a snapshot, so it could all look different next week. Uh, any forecast beyond five to seven days is unreliable and comes with health warnings. So um, we may see something a little bit more seasonable as we get into February. At the moment, the ECM is not seeing that, but uh, we shall see what. To, uh, develops over the next few days and weeks. We'll be back later on this afternoon with your week 10 day update. So come back for that then. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.